Hey, what's going on everyone? Wally here, and we are back with some more Dauntless gameplay. Today, I want to give a brief status update on where we are at in the story of Dauntless. So we just laid the Helian in the last video, or the Hellion, whichever you prefer. The quest for that was to take him on, the Panger, and the Drask. So now if we go back to Katarine Sorel, Got a moment. it says Heralds of the Storm. We're going to turn it in, and we'll get a quest. Dire Warnings is the new quest that You've pops up this. here. It says... Hunt Rockfall Scarn, Firebrand Charag, Ragetail Nasher, Moon Reaver Shrike, Complete Before the Dawn, Complete Bring on the Night, Craft and Equipped Armor with a total resistance of 350, and Craft and Equipped a Weapon of 350 or more, and then the Arcstone Defense. So what this tells me is that they're going to go back and there's going to be other variations of the Behemoths that we have already fought. On top of that, there are three additional quests we will need to complete in order to finish this off. And as of right now, our current armor and weapons are maxed out at 300. So there's going to be a new way for us to upgrade our gear. We're going to find some new items that will allow us to push our gear just a little bit farther here. So what we're going to do next, then we are going to head on over. And we're going to talk to everyone in town that we have the opportunity. So this one here, Dr. Priyana. So we're going to turn this There's in, guys. and uh, let's see. Yes. I don't think she has anything. Until she just time. says greetings. All right. Well, we are going to head on over to our gun friend here. I always the like this guy because we can get some pretty cool stuff. Please, so respect. we've got that hot shaft and cold feet. I'm going to turn that in. And now we got Look and Radiant. Wait. So we want to gather a rare fractal hide from Valomir. So this is actually, I believe, another hunt that's available that we didn't even get. That wasn't even a part of the last quest that we just saw there. And the rewards is a new lightweight frame and then two new prisms here. And to just do. to give you a brief Listen introduction to here for what I'm mentioning. So these here are the barrels. These are the prisms here, as you guys can see. And then I'm assuming the lightweight frame will probably... I don't know, honestly, what it is. We'll have to figure out where, where that frame storm. belongs. So I think we've talked to everyone down there. Let's uh, head on over to our exclamation points and turn in our quest. And then we're going to take a look at all of the new behemoths that are available here. This is going to be quite interesting. We'll ignore our reward that's sitting there for now. Let's talk to our favorite blacksmith here. Before the dawn. So this is the other quest that they were talking about we needed to complete down there. So hunt Valomir. This is also the same objective we have for our gunsmith. And it says, craft a radiant weapon with Wills Borman. So I'm fairly certain that a radiant weapon is most likely going to be... It's actually not even down here yet. Alright, so we will have to go through and hunt... That blade is sweet. Uh, we're going to have to go through and hunt this Valamir guy in order to probably craft that radiant weapon. Let's see what Moiver wants. Collect 50 dull arc stones while on a dire patrol hunt. So I actually don't know what that is. So we are cute. going to head on over to our hunt here. We're not going to actually pursue a hunt, but we're going to merely take a look at what we have available. So first and foremost, we're just going to go to patrol. So it says, okay, it's, it actually has added a new patrol. There's neutral, blaze, frost, shock, terra, and dire. So in dire, it appears that there are five um, available here, and then there are a bunch of question marks. So I'm fairly certain these five that are here are the same five that were listed in the quest beforehand here. So I'm guessing in some way they've added unique abilities to these behemoths or enhanced them in some way. You can also tell that their threat level is 8 through 9 here, and that is how you acquire the dull arc stones. These dull arc stones are the same materials, guys. If you head on back over here to, let's say, a piece of armor, Hello, that, uh, let's say, the boreal one, if you hover over this here, you notice that is the dual arc stone. So that is the gem you will see practically every here on the ember main stuff, care, and then I'll show you for the weapons. Essentially, this component or this resource busy, was not available to us before, but now it is a requirement. So this sword actually needs 12, and the armor needs 3 or 4 to What's upgrade back, from its current level 5. So it is certainly going to be worth doing these hunts here. However, being a level 8 or 9 and not being able to upgrade our armor to 300, I am quite sure that these hunts are going to be 
very, very difficult. Fortunately, I still have six patrols that I can collect. Honestly, I think that it may have reset because I actually just had done two patrols before this. So I'm fairly certain when I unlock this new set of quests, it reset my patrol bonus. Now, if we go to Pursuit, we'll actually take a look here. So you can see Neutral Behemoths. The Moon Reaver Shrike here is now in here. It is a recommended power level 325. The Rage Tail Nasher is in here. For the Blaze Behemoths, we have the Firebrand Charog. So he is now a power level 300. That's actually something we've already fought here, because I believe the Hellion was 275. Okay, we have not fought this yet. So this is going to be quite difficult here. The Terra is the Rockfall Scar, and that guy just looks bigger, fatter, and some color on his scales, but probably a lot scarier here. And then the Radiant Behemoth, so this is what it was talking about, Radiant Weapons, so he probably crafted from taking on this guy. It says, Descending from the dazzling echelons of the skies above to terrorize the Maelstrom, the Valomir can slice slayers to ribbons with radiant power sharper than any shattered glass. Out of all of the hunts, I am probably most excited to start this next one off, and as you can see, there's actually a brand new element, guys. There is here Umbral Weapons. And Radiant Weapons and Radiant Armor and Umbral Armor. Meaning they've added an entire new weapon set here, guys. Which is absolutely amazing. There's technically two, Umbral and Radiant. So I'm really excited to see what these things hold here. So now that I've given you guys a brief update here on the story of Dauntless. In this next video, we will surely be taking on one of these new behemoths.